who doesn't love a good detective story? So we've got Linda Cook back with two of them. Two. We're going to start with Haunting in Venice. Ah, this is based on the Agatha Christie novel, Halloween Party. And once again, Kenneth Brown of Stars as the inspector. This is his third time around, I believe. Uh, he is retired to Venice post-World War II, but an author drags him out of retirement because she thinks she has found a real medium who can communicate with the dead. At this seance, wouldn't you know it, bodies begin to pile up. And the inspe inspector has to ask himself, is what he's seeing really occurring? It's a mystery all the way through. This is so beautifully done. It's old school Hollywood with a great ensemble cast and a lush, uh, I would say kind of a, a grim look about it. I was gonna say, I'm seeing that just the look in the clip here it looks very old fashioned. Yeah, and, and, and it works because hey, this particular story is timeless as are Agatha Christie's stories. I really like this movie. It's only in theaters and it's three and a half stars for me. All right, only in theaters. All right, let's move on to Inspector Sun. This is a little more of a family fair. It is, but it's the same kind of story. Okay. The inspector here, Inspector Sun, goes on a voyage and he decides to take it easy for a little while until, of course, a doctor who happens to be very wealthy and have a very femme fatale type of wife falls dead. What does the inspector do? He springs into action. Now, this character is a little different in that Think Pink Panther, right? Inspector Clouseau. He's bumbling. He's not really as good as he thinks he is, but you've heard me say this before, Eric, better lucky than good, and that's what this character is all about. Kids can see this. What I liked about the characters is they never lose their bugginess, if, it, if you will. Um, these are spiders. There's a jumping spider that wants to be the inspector's assistant. And there are all, all kinds of insects and bugs around this. I really like this movie. It is not a Disney movie, not DreamWorks. But that doesn't mean it isn't worth a look. It opens October 27. So you got to see this one early. I got to see this early. I was surprised at how much I loved it. And, uh, you know, put this on your list to take your, your kids to. Or, you know, if you like the fanciful, go by yourself when it opens in theaters the 27th of October. All right. Put that one down. Three and a half stars. A couple of three and a half stars. Haunting in Venice and Inspector Sun. All right, Linda, thank you so much for another round of movie reviews. And you can always read all of Linda's reviews at ourquadcities.com.